Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Children's Chapel. My name is Laura Insko. You can call me Reverend Laura. And I'm glad to welcome you on this. It's the 22nd Sunday after Pentecost, but more importantly, it's All Saints Sunday. So on our calendar wheel, the color is white. And I'm wearing white because it's a very special day. We remember people who have died, who have died, and we think about them as saints. I'll say more about that later on. But let us begin our service. Now, when we start, I'm going to say, this is the day that the Lord has made, and you're going to say, let us rejoice and be glad in it. So let's start. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Then I'll say, I was glad when they said unto me. And then you're going to say, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Now it's time to light the candles. I wish that you were here so that I could ask one of you to light the candles with me. But I'll go ahead and light the candles myself. Now we have Dr. Mark who's going to come and lead us in some songs for a song. Earlier I said that this is All Saints Day. Now All Saints Day is a day when we remember people who have died who were wonderful people, people who behave and live their lives the way that we would like to live our lives. One of the saints you've probably heard about is St. James. We're named after St. James. We're St. James's church. And St. James was one of the 12 disciples. He went around with Jesus and he was Jesus' friend. But there were many other saints that lived after Jesus was here, and some of you might be able to think of people who you think are saints. Maybe it's a grandparent, a grandmother or a grandfather who is always kind to you, who doesn't lose their temper, who if they do something that wasn't so great, they apologize. Those are the sorts of things we think of that saints do. We all want to be saints. Do you want to be a saint? We all want to be good. But, you know, it's hard to be good because sometimes someone might do something that makes us upset and we yell at them or say something mean to them or just walk away. And then we feel kind of bad. So a saint is someone who thinks, how does that other person feel when I do that? I guess that made him or her feel bad. I'm going to go tell them that I'm sorry. That's something that a saint does. Sometimes a saint does something simple like share a toy or let someone have the last cookie or let someone have the biggest piece of cake. You can be a saint by helping your mom or your dad or your grandparents. You can be a saint when you share your toys with a brother or sister or friend. You can even be a saint if somebody grabs your toy and you don't get mad at them. You just say, okay, I'll share. In the church, we talk about saints, and we usually talk about grown-ups who are saints, who did something really wonderful to, and that we, that we look up to. 
But in order to be a grown-up who's a saint, it helps to start as a child who's a saint. So I want to encourage each of you to think about somebody in your life who you think is really nice, really unselfish, will do things to help other people, and most importantly, who really loves God and prays to Jesus and asks God to help them be better. And that's how you can be a saint too. I hope to be a saint too. Amen. Boys and girls, as I lead you in prayer, I'm going to invite you to repeat after me. So let's go. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our church. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you for all the saints. And thank you for loving us. Amen. We're going to say the birthday prayer and I want to say happy birthday to all of you who just had birthdays this past week or who are getting ready to have birthdays this coming week. Bless, O oh Lord, all of the children who have birthdays this week and watch over them all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. I think you know it. And usually when we say the Lord's Prayer, we start with the Lord be with you, and then you respond and also with you. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our worship is coming to a close, and we're going to put out the candles. I wish that you were here to help me do that, but we'll go ahead and do it right now. of dismissal, you probably know them. I'm going to say, let us bless the Lord, and you're going to say, thanks be to God. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.